it's Nick, front-end lead um, at Hardix. And today I'm introducing a new feature of Label Studio called the Outliner. If we go to the task, you will see a new two-column interface. You may remember one side, uh, one, one sidebar interface that we previously had and uh, we're replacing it with a new interface which we call the outliner. Um, it splits into two columns. On the left you will find a list of regions that you can uh, group in a different ways or order uh, differently and on the right uh, is the panel that we call details. Let me show it in action. So if I add a region on the image you will see it appear here on the left. And if I click on this region, you will now see a more detailed view of your region, including uh, exact coordinates that allows you for pixel perfect annotation, as well as uh, convenient old um, functionality, which is uh, relation creation, adding metadata, uh, hiding the region and deleting. And also we introducing locking the region. If you lock the region, it's uh, it becomes um, uninteractive and you cannot do anything with it. It's just locked here and uh, safe for any interactions. And you can also use quick actions here on the in the outliner to quickly switch between locked and unlocked screen interface and uh, hide and show region as well. Um, so speaking of pixel perfect, uh, you can now uh, added coordinates right here in on, on the right side uh, as well as rotating the region and uh, yeah so that's pixel perfect labeling another feature of the outliner is you, is that you can organize your space more um, efficiently for your exact situation for example you can detach the panel and move it wherever you want on the screen or completely hide it like that and move it outside to have more real estate for your labeling. Same goes for the details panel. You can hide it and you will see it um, attached to the, uh, to the edge of, the, of, of your screen. Or expand it, detach from the side and move it move it away. Also, you can swap the panels if you want and move them like that. Also, if you need more uh, room for whatever reason, you can resize those panels and um, have more space for information you're working with. Um, and a couple of more uh, a, cu a couple of features that we never covered actually um, for example you can manually group your regions like that in a form of a tree it only works with manual grouping but you also can group your regions by tool or by label uh, tool grouping um, is handy when you're working with different tools at the same time for example you have an image uh, with a couple of different uh, shapes assigned, like rectangle, ellipses, and key points. Uh, you will see those uh, tools here on the toolbar, and uh, also all of your regions will be grouped by the tool that produced them. And you can uh, group by label, as usual. All your regions will be grouped by a label assigned to them, like that. For automatically produced uh, regions uh, by uh, machine learning backend or um, other uh, machine learning based um, models, you can uh, order by score. And every region with a score will be uh, at the top of your list. So this is the outliner. Hope you will enjoy it. And uh, oh yeah, by the way, um, so currently, um, details panel and this pixel perfect uh, annotation mode 
is only available for images, but you can expect those um, things to appear for other types of labeling soon. So hope you enjoy it. That's it. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.